<laughs> I would like to thank Mitch and all the makers coming to China. It's from, from many years ago. It's when people are still curious, why is maker movement, why is maker culture? Mitch brings the team here to share a lot of uh, the possibilities and passions. I mean, including myself, that's been very bad thing from that. So thank you for giving your passions to the maker community in China. And uh, uh, I think it's a really interesting era for the whole maker movement and uh, for what's next. It has been like 10 years ago we started the city studio. We talk with a lot of makers, maker spaces. We go to Noise Bridge and we found we are so generous about what's happening. We don't even have a maker space. So we created the maker space called the Taipei in 2012. And from that we keep pulling in resources, we keep pushing out, giving out the understandings about the culture. But now I feel it's coming into a very awkward moment. Like uh, a lot of maker organizations are adjusting themselves. A lot of, uh, how say, uh, believers having checks about that. And including myself, I've been spending a few years trying to figure out what's the reason for the maker culture? What's the next? Instead, what will be the positive future of making movement? It could be still like a, a hobby, it could be still like a learning curve, but could it be more meaningful to something? So that's why we upgraded Maker Space into an extraction from last year. It's difficult because nobody has tried that to talk with architectures, designers trying to convince them to use technology to their day job. And now, this year, I think we have some uh, experience, we have some learnings. We made some mistakes, we have spent too many like, energy offline, we didn't build up the online community, for example. But I think we, we believe that could be one possibility uh, solution for our meaning for the maker movement. Now, we, this year, we built more, two more X factory. One is in Dongguan. I believe some of you has been there. It's still a bit empty, but I hope that can become a new interface to the manufacturing possibilities. And uh, it's based around all kinds of real factories. In Shenzhen, we don't have real factories that much. They have been pushed out to the program. And uh, uh, I hope each factory in Dongguan, excuse me, I'm not with you guys, but uh, let me do share with you a little bit about our passion about that. For Dongguan, I think there will be two ways that we can upgrade or interact with the local uh, industry. First, first is that we can bring more new products to them. They might be manufacturing bags for Nike for many years. They don't know how to build their own brand. They don't know how to integrate their new products. But if we have some wearable solution makers who just go there, we can find a new way to work with it. It's not necessary to do something totally new. These guys, they have the channels, they, they have the capabilities. Just to put a little thing into the equations, then that can be uh, with more value. Another thing is uh, the manufacturing process is still old. Yes, uh, Germany is talking about how can we have industrial 4.0 to replace human beings, but can we have more desktop miniature machines that can work with human beings? to enhance their uh, quality, enhance their output, or have more digitalized manufacturing that can help to customize the needs. So that's why we are thinking about the web. It's just a starting. So please uh, help us to bring in more people who are interested in that, and it will be open to all the community members. And then secondly, we build a, uh, a maker space, an IX factory in Shijiano. Do you know where it is together? So it's uh, the most uh, polluted area of the planet. It's around Beijing. For the last uh, 50 years, it has been contributing all the economies to build the capital of China. So it has a full industrial system from uh, 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 concrete to sand to steel to furniture to everything. So it has been suffering from a lot from the modernizing cities. Now it's been the most polluted place. 
So we build an like factory in the theme of environment. You might, there might be people from the Switzerland learning environment engineering, but there's nothing you can do there, it's so clean. You can, if you fly to Sijatra, when you get off the plane, you feel you are in the mission. You will smell so polluted. So the government has very, the government, the industry has very strong willing to change this. They, want, they need a like, better uh, sensor network to have more finer, finer uh, sense of solutions, measurement of solutions. And they need more like out of the box way to resolve the solutions. And uh, that's why we build a space and we are inviting from all over the world who are passionate about environment problems, go to Sijabram, look at the problems, and look at the people who want to change, give them possibilities, give them new technology, or even give them a different way of thinking. And, uh, otherwise, after we have built some of the solutions, we can also promote other countries, other regions, who need to cure the problem from air, from earth, from water. And we maybe it could also start from redesigning of products. Because we can reduce uh, plastic usage in your products. We can reduce the uh, like anodized aluminum thing, which will cause chemical pollution. So we start from the the bigger <coughs> the bigger scope of industrial design for that. So this is uh, the three this factory is going to be uh, running well next mm -hmm. year. But a play, a space is just a space. It's an <laughs> interface. It needs more interactions like this. So feel free to consider Chapel as an uh, interface to Shenzhen, to manufacturing, to programs in the environment. And uh, see that we'll be back, keep backing all the factories with the technology, with the IoT, AI, sensor actuators. I want, I have deep in my mind, I see the future of a maker is more towards professional making. Yes, there will be people still do it as a hobby to serve creativity. Mm -hmm. How about we dive with the traditional industries and uh, resolve some problem and see the possibility and enlarge that? And then it's, we don't need unicorns. We don't need so many unicorns. We just need a mom and pop stores. We need more indie makers who can make money mm -hmm. and make it sustainable, mm -hmm. to make it more beneficial. Mm -hmm. So these are my thinkings. And uh, I can't wait to meet, uh, to talk with Mitch again and share my thoughts. Maybe after today's sharing, we can have some free talking to share our opinions. But anyway, um, I won't take too much of time. Thank you so much for coming to Shenzhen for the first time or for many times. And uh, please consider this place to operate your home. We will have.